time, people have become increasingly dependent on technology to the point where those who utilize it become a part of it. The computer becomes an extension of self through its attachment to an individual's hands, then allowing them to enter into a virtual world. The cell phone becomes an extension of an individual's voice that enables it to be carried across continents, oceans, and city blocks. Wireless technology has evolved extensively since the creation of the first wireless telegraph in 1896 by Guillermo Marconi. The first te wireless telegraph then progressed into radio frequencies, which then progressed into mobile phones. The first mobile phone created in 1946 was located in the car so that the user would not be unreachable if they were in their car. Since the 1990s, wireless computing has evolved from wireless internet access to the mobilizing of computers in the form of Blackberries and PDAs. Mobile computing is defined as the ability to use technology that is not physically connected to any static network. With built-in wireless internet cards and Bluetooth, the individual is given little choice to opt out of decentralized internet usage. As McLuhan said, once it became possible, it became necessary. To explain how wireless technology has been incorporated into society, we will be using Marshall McLuhan's Tetrad model. The Tetrad acts as a framing device which examines the effects that a particular piece of technology has on society, specifically how it enhances, reverses, retrieves, and obsolesces aspects of human life. The rapid transmission of ideas and information has become possible, which has massive political and social implications. One notable flash mob occurred in January 2001 in the Philippines. The People Power Uprising was a gathering of protesters that went into the streets of Epifanio de los Santos to force President Joseph Estrada to resign. Their public protest was organized through mobile texting. They used SMS to keep others updated of the events, mobilizing them to the march, eventually forcing President Estrada to leave office. Although flash mobbing is used in a political context, it can also be used for light-hearted gatherings. For instance, in Vancouver, over a hundred people met in front of the Vancouver Art Gallery to participate in a pillow fight on March 26, 2006. The fight lasted 15 minutes, after which all participants put their pillows away and left the scene. What negative impacts on life could wireless technology have? Um, Long-term health damage, possibly. Uh, nobody's, well, it's, you don't, it's, it's not, it's probably not a threat. It's probably not a worry, but nobody's really done long-term testing. So, mobile telephones, or telephones, or telephone wires, or Absolutely, computers. absolutely. I mean, you're exposed to EMR, electromagnetic radiation, that you don't even, you're not even aware of. Small town communities are famous for their inability to keep secrets and their increasing talent for gossip. When an event occurs in an individual's life, no matter how personal it may seem, it will oftentimes become the talk of the town. Small towns still exist, but for many they are not actually towns. They are virtual communities where people of like minds can connect. What does wireless technology retrieve from society? Um, I think it it retrieves the small town mentality because like um, in the olden days you were really close to the community, you had kind of a town hall sort of that you would be able to know what was going on with everyone. So nowadays with uh, online communication or with cell phone stuff, you're attached to everyone. You know what's going on all the time even if you don't really want to per se. What do you think wireless technology threatens to eliminate in society? Um. I think it threatens to eliminate face-to-face -face contact and, um, well, landlines, because uh, more people are just using cell phones. McLuhan stated with regards to technology that once it became a possibility, it became a necessity. We see a truth in this statement with regards to wireless technology. Many agree that wireless technology has become necessary, which is a hard fact to argue against. Think about it, the capacities of various wireless technologies are rapidly increasing. New cell phones are beginning to have almost fully functional internet browsers and messaging capabilities. Since cell phones first appeared in 1983, the use of them has changed and increased dramatically, making something like this possible. Basically, it has brought us together in a way that would have never been imagined before. We're all interconnected. What would have taken three weeks of mail before is now just one click of a button. I think it has made things a lot more accessible and easier. When before you had to go through many steps to reach a goal, now there are less steps. The range and speed of wireless routers is increasing quite quickly to the point where there are now long-range Wi-Fi systems growing in use. 
Would this trend continue if we believed that wireless technology had not been making life easier? How would you feel if your wireless tools were taken away? Surely somewhere along the lines of how these people feel. Honestly, I'd probably be lost without my cell phone as it's kind of like my lifeline. I really don't know. It's such a big question that's beyond my scope. I can't even fathom what I would do if I was without technology. All in all, it's just more inconvenient. We have become so used to technology like this being around that we rarely think about what would happen if it suddenly disappeared. Frightening thought, isn't it?